Welcome back, everybody. We are here again, of course, in our beautiful city, ready to do some pretty cool building. Basically, today is a, is a day where we're going to be using a lot of stuff that you have given me in the comments from the last episode. In fact, last episode's comments were pretty crazy. It's, uh, yeah, they were pretty full. And we've got a lot of cool stuff all from all over the place, actually. There's a lot of different things. But basically, what we're going to be doing is uh, building a bookshop. And this bookshop's a little bit different. It's going to be special, I think. I hope. And the, the whole idea about it, let me actually, let me get into it before. All right, so this over here, this corner, but do we have anything? Just get that feeling something's creeping on us. That's right. Okay, so this corner here is where we're going to be putting this bookshop. I'll quickly go through why we're thinking this and uh, where, where we're going with the rest of this. So first of all, I decided I'd start off a shop over here. I've just cleared out a little bit of an area. We'll put some stuff in here. There's some really great ideas. And are you, what? <laughs> we just cleared this guy out. Okay, let's go for another one. All right, here we go, and yeah, you're not gonna explode. You can you can make all the flashes you want. There we go. This one over here, I've chosen this corner for a very important reason. I want the bookshop to kind of have, in terms of the build, at least before we get to the story of it, the build I want to be very vertical. I want everything to be shoved together, look like it's all been crammed in. I don't want it to be a huge bookshop. It's meant to be down an alleyway, a little dark, dingy alleyway. Not really too dingy, okay? Let, let me put it this way, okay? It's not too dingy. Not very, very dingy, but an alleyway nonetheless. It's not a very prime location. So if people are going here, they're searching for some stuff. Now, here's where the cool part comes into it. We can, we've got the ability now to add real life stories into our world. Of course, you can write your own books and then sign them and then bam, you've got a book in here. But what I thought would be really cool is, of course, we've got a bunch of lore of that people have written and people are still going to write and all that sort of stuff that we can add into here and make a bookshop, a real deal bookshop. We can have real stories. We can put stuff in here and that's what makes it special, I think. Besides that, there's also some cool stuff. For instance, I, I was thinking, now that we've got the, the bookshop idea, and by the way, I started digging it out this way, thinking this would be a good, a good, uh, a good distance, but no, that's a bit too far. I think the this the narrow verticalness of it will be much better. I think having one that's way too large will just it won't work very well. Uh, but yeah, I was I was thinking, how cool would it be if we had a little story about a book that that contains some knowledge? You know, something something sort of cliched, but it's cool. It's our cliched will. It, it, we can do what we want, and I think that'll be pretty cool to to start off a little bit of a story. Or something along those lines, just in this area. Okay, let's get rid of that bone. We don't need that. We'll collect these, though. And also, I'll no I think you guys noticed uh, about... Look at that. Like that. What the heck's going on with my mouse? Uh, that sort of stuff there. I asked you guys about that. And thank you very much for all the responses. Very kind responses uh, for you guys to, to try to help me out with that. Sadly, it has not been resolved. So if, if my mouse does shoot around like crazy today, I apologize, guys. I really can't do too much. But you know what? Uh, it's still it's still the same thing. We're not here to watch where my mouse is going around, how smooth my mouse is moving. It's about about getting a pretty cool build and getting things looking pretty. And uh, I say that walking to probably the ugliest area in this place. We just need to clear a little bit of space in our inventory in, in, in any case. Uh, but one one thing was, the, the irony is, uh, I've got a few people asking me if my mouse DPI is too high. Quite ironically, that's basically, for people who don't know, uh, mouse DPI is if I move my mouse one inch, how much does it actually move? And uh, my mouse DPI is extremely low. For people who don't know, mine's on 300, which is way, way, way below what most people have it on. So it definitely isn't that. As far as I can tell, it, it must just be a, a silly kind of a hardware issue or something along those lines. Because I, I, I've tried everything. Tried everything and it's just not working. That's okay. Let's, let's quickly grab these here. So first things first. What I want to do is I want to get a little bit of shape. Walking into this, of course, we're going to step in here. We could step it up in it. Mm, nah, that... Yeah, yeah, maybe we could, actually. Let's do this. How about we step it up a little bit? This is a very tough decision. Uh, we'll step it up a little bit. We can take that out there as well and put a window in there. So, ready? That would look quite interesting. So, if we step it up, it'll be kind of narrow. We step into it. We'll have the whole wall full of bookshelves everywhere there. And then we can have a little bit of an area. So, actually, let's just grab one of these out and put this over here so we know where the height is that we're working with. So let's just do a little bit of a place mark and it'll be very, very, uh, what would you say, uh, crammed and, and unplanned right now, but don't worry, it's gonna it's gonna get there. As we get here, probably a more closer this way, we'll step it down and we'll actually step it down too. So that creates a little bit of a, a different level for us to play on. So we've got this level over here, which you'll walk in on. 
you'll have this level going down here, but then I also want to have a level that steps up above this one so that you really have to walk up towards it. So you would step there. This is this level. We'll have a level over here, which is the third one up. Okay, now that kind of kills this next idea, <laughs> this first idea about the window, but that's cool. We can figure that one out. Uh, if we do that there, maybe, and work in this way. And by the way, this working with the different platform thing, I think, has been working quite well for us. Getting the interiors, and, and even for a few exteriors, to be honest. That, that was what we were busy with over there, which I still haven't shown you guys. So we could go check that out right now. Actually, let's quickly go check that out while the sun's going down. But basically, the idea is here to, to create the build, a bit more interest in the build, is we'll work with it like that. We'll work with it with the three different levels, which really don't mean too much to us. And then once we've got those levels... I mean, kind of figured out where the stairs are going to be, small things like that. Then we can start playing around with other other ideas, and we've already worked out our height differences, which make a massive difference. So here we go. This is what we've got over here. As we're walking down this way, I think it's got a nice feel to it. Look at that. Just stuff happening around here, and it's good for us to have left our mark on this side, because this stuff wasn't here in the last video. It's, uh, it's good to have left a, a, uh, a change to this side because what happens is we build these areas and we don't touch them for a while and they kind of go a little bit stagnant. But getting a little bit of a move on is a great part on this side. So that's what it's looking like over there. The other thing that I, I don't think I've shown you guys is around this way over here, which is these two little towers now. Getting pretty close to, to getting this side of, of the office building finished. I think it's going to look great. I think it is looking great right now. Of course we need windows and stuff, but that wall, for some reason, I just really like it. I don't know what it is about it. Despite the fact that it's got these really long, large pillars, I think it works very, very well. But look at that. That's looking fantastic. All right, so the next thing, of course, is just getting the inside planned out. I need to do that very, very quickly. Once we've done that, we can start adding a whole bunch of story to this build. So let's go in and check this out. First of all, I haven't yet got a door on it. That's still going to come, but basically, we don't have too much room to play around with here. We're going to have to be very... We're going to have to do a lot of stuff to be very interesting with the front here. Take it that way. I've got some ideas, but we'll get to that very shortly. Before I go out here as well, uh, I got a lot of comments re well, requesting that we get rid of a lot of these over here. I think that that was one of the things that I... I think I have mentioned it, that I was not 100% convinced about how many leaves we've put there. But to be completely honest... Me walking around here has actually kind of made this feel a little bit normal, so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but we're definitely going to do something for that roof. I actually forgot to mention that from the last episode. So let's just quickly put one of these things in, maybe one of those. Uh, and I'll show you what I've been doing here. Now, it might look a little bit underwhelming, but I'll, uh, I'll explain my thought and how this is going to turn out. So first of all, we've got the three levels that we're talking about. This one, that one, that one. The, the first one that leads down to the second one, which leads to the third one. Basically, the idea is that you've got to go down to go up. It's kind of just a weird sort of thing that I think adds a lot more to it. And not only that, what we're doing and why we've why we've started off with this and uh, why I've got the bookshelves in before I started decorating is the issue with bookshelves... Whoa, this mouse is really crazy, guys. I'm so sorry. Uh, the thing with bookshelves is it's... They're not very, very useful. <laughs> as much as that... As much as they have, have a very definite use they don't blend in very well look at that they have to be oak they also don't have a bottom layer which is kind of weird there's just a lot of strange things about bookshelves that i don't really understand actually they do have a bottom layer okay interesting they always blend in with the things but yeah that is actually one there but yeah just in general they they they're a block and we have to use them as a block same as for instance let's pretend this is my logic behind it, right so if we pretend that we had for instance a uh let's just say some acacia logs down this way like this that's exactly the same thing. If we want to work this in, we'll have to hide them in smart ways. For instance, something like maybe a little bit of, bit of something like this or something. I don't know. Just uh, using using stuff like that to kind of merge them into the build. So that's why I've decided to do it this way, where we, we put the bookshelves in in a few places where we think bookshelves would be. And we try and work our way into it and make, for instance, a cupboard over there, a, a shelf holding these over here. Because they, they are, they just book blocks. That's all it is. It's a book block. We have to really think about that. So first of all, this one here, I was thinking it could be a really cool cabinet idea where we could do something like this over the front, like that there and there, for instance, where it just hides it a little bit. We could even use some other colors of, of like white stained, not white stained glass, but stained glass panes. It could, could be interesting to have something like that or maybe there just something interesting like that which is a very flat thing still and this is where it come becomes very very difficult because of course as i say they they are really book blocks and 
it, it might it might not sound like a lot, but it, it really it's the reason why bookshelves don't normally look too good in builds. Is they they're very difficult realistically to get right. So let's do something like this over here, over there, over there. No, one more there. Per what? <laughs> there and that is weird. I that my mouse is freaking me out. There's double block places. I think that was my mouse. I'm gonna blame it. Everything else is going wrong with it, so we'll blame everything on it. So something like that. That's a little bit more cozy. Yeah, it's a good. It's a good little change. All right. So the next thing that we're gonna have to do is make this piece over here a little bit more interesting. So if we do that, there, take these out, and and this is pretty much the way I've been building recently is just doing stuff like this where I look at something, I think how can we make that a little bit better than what it is right now, and then and give one of these a try. So how about we do that? We do that there and that there it feels very weird using terracotta but i have to give it a go sometimes all right maybe maybe if we take it from this side here yeah something like that i think maybe uh and if we did that one there like that i think we do we really want that one to be backwards so if we do it that way i think it comes backwards let me just check what that looks like Interesting. Okay. I'm not too sure if we can get that to be facing that. It should. It should face that direction. Yeah. I'm going to try and get that to face in that direction, but let's just work on this. Sample sizes. We'll we'll start on this side here. And in fact, here, here's something that actually might look quite interesting. I've just noticed this now, but this is something that I am aware of many people who will be hating what I'm doing right now, but we have to do it. I need to try it out because we're using the, the uh, modified new textures. Let's put it that way. We've got modified new textures, and I'm doing something with these blocks, which uh, I normally wouldn't do. There. In fact, do we have them on? We do. Okay. Doesn't look quite as much as I expected, but yeah, that's actually not too bad. We could we could work that in into a build, not this build, but a build for sure. So let's do that. Let's take something out like that, maybe. Yeah, like that. That actually looks alright. And then we can just do this. I think. One one block will be enough. Man, this is crazy. One of those blocks will be enough in there. So we can do that there. We'll do it over here as well. And I think that will give us a pretty cool, just general interest on this one. Look at that. Fairly boring still, but we got a lot more that we can do to that. A few little bits that I was thinking of putting around, by the way. We may as well put these up while I'm at it. Is a little bit of a clock in here. And the, the thought of it was I was actually planning on having... A bit more oak in here because of course the bookshelves are oak and having this little oak trim looks very weird as I say you can't get them on anything else so I thought what would be kind of cool is just to work oak in so I got it on the door here I was planning on doing the shelves like that with oak yeah that actually isn't too bad we can maybe do that there and see what that looks like but this is the this is the struggle with something that's very very narrow and kind of crammed it, it has these troubles but you know what? It's a fun challenge, of course, and that's that's what we're going for. So we'll do something like this here. Well, uh, okay, maybe maybe not. Maybe just that. Yeah, that could be a cool little register for this place. So that's the thought there. We also will do a bookshelf, well, door to the back. I, I planned planned on this going out this way. I was actually hoping to drop that down before, but that could work as well. A little bit of a storage room. This stuff over here. And now what I've got to do is I've got to work out this. So if we can get this one here to work, we'll get that one there. I mean, honestly, this isn't that bad. As much as as much as I'm not a fan of the way it's turned out, it's not that bad. Yeah, those those are really opposite directions. That'll be cool. That's fine. I'm down with that. So let's just step back and see what it feels like as we as we walk in here. Yeah, you definitely get the feeling that it's uh it's got something to do with books. The only other thing that I can think would work for these books is maybe if I take these ones off, let me just get rid of those and not the roof. We'll get these out the way and maybe just maybe put in one of these here like that. So you feel like it's a shelf, right? So as you go in here, yeah, that's a bit more bookshelf like maybe we could do something like this. There we go. That's perfect. So you still get the idea that this sells books. It's a bookshop, not like a library. So you walk in there. Yeah, that's got a that's got a nice feel to it. Just in general, it's it's a very basic thing, but we're gonna have to ramp this up a little bit more because I'm not very happy with the way that it is right now. This area is really starting to feel quite cozy right now. I've done a lot of stuff in between the beginning and now, of course, and I think it's just slowly coming together to really feel like it's it fits in here at least. Obviously, from here, I think this looks fantastic. It's got it's got like a real 
I don't know, homely kind of vibe, which is not what we were going for necessarily, but underneath here, I was hoping for a more cozier, a little bit dark, a little bit dingy, but not, uh, not dodgy, which is, uh, I think something I should have explained a bit better in the last episode. However, look at this. As we walk in here, that's looking good. I think that the terracotta blocks, the glazed terracotta blocks actually don't look too bad when more than 50% of them is hidden, which is great. So that's a, that's the thing that we've done there. Around here, obviously just a clock and stuff like that. Obviously with interiors, I, I feel like I could add so much more, but you, <laughs> you really can't. It's so, it's so, um, it's such a, a crazy thing to, to struggle with, but it is. It's a very, very uh, tight place where you can't fit too many things. I mean, when you consider this, most of those blocks at the top there are actually occupied by something, which is kind of crazy. And to create that depth is actually a lot more difficult than you expect. So let's walk around here, just see this feeling. I think that feels pretty good. I think it feels very, very good just walking around here. Uh, this one is not floating, by the way, it's hanging. Just before someone points out, Hey, Jancy, you got a hanging, a floating bookshelf. It's a hanging bookshelf. It's a little bit different. Different varieties of bookshelf. But look at that. That's, uh, I think, gives you the impression of it being a bookshop, which is great. It's uh, our first one. I mean, we probably will put another one in this town somewhere as well. It's going to be, it's going to be that huge. Uh, but what I want to do now is something which we did in the last world, in fact. Yeah, it was the last world. We, we did a thing like this. Was that there before? It was. Cool. I was going to say, if not, I'm leaving that. Looks cool. So what we did in the last world was we had a hanging sign like this. That was coming from a, a pillar like that. But, oh, no, that wasn't where I was trying to put it. <laughs> uh, we're trying to put this over here, but I'm actually going to use these ones instead like that. And what we did with this was have a little bit of a sign hanging out here with the with the, the shop. For instance, we had an archery shop. We had, I think we had a, a baker, a butcher. We had a few other people, but we had an archery shop in there. And I remember doing it with that most definitely. Actually, that that's a, it just kind of looks weird. You know what? I feel like this orientation of this book just because I've seen it so many times never looks right any other direction we'll leave it like that right there yeah that looks good that's very very good because uh because of course this has come out pretty well I'm looking forward to doing the shop on this side and of course the shop on that side there with the with the middle piece in there and even this one here so what I was thinking about in particular with these shops picture the stuff around the shop on the outside I might actually add one or two crates around here as well that's a good idea. That's actually a very good idea. And they'll put some crates in the background there as well. The other things is, uh, the other things are, which in fact maybe would be appreciated if you, if I got a bit of help with this, is I was looking at the comments. Of course, this bookshelf, this bookshop one was actually a, a comment about an enchanted bookshop, an enchanted bookstore, which I, I kind of thought, you know, I'm not really going too much into like Minecraft magic, more our own story we're telling. And that's why we're not doing it. We'll do a bookshop, and I think it, it's going to work well. We'll get into magic, but not Minecraft magic, necessarily. So what I want to do is I want to do an antique store, which was another great comment, and that's what we're going to do here. I think in this shop here, we'll have a, a cool little window going each way. You can see through this way, you can see through that way, and there'll be antiques there. Now, this is where I need your help, is where what kind of things are antique in Minecraft? Specifically, like, items by themselves. But, I mean, of course we don't necessarily need an idea. In fact, it would probably be better off if you guys had just a weird idea that you thought we couldn't necessarily build. And, uh, pop that in the comments. See if we can work out a cool idea for something that should be impossible to build in Minecraft. That'll be an awesome challenge to have. But overall, whoa, look at that. Speed turning my camera around like that. Kind of lucky we stopped on this. But overall, I think this is a fantastic looking area right now. I think we'll end the episode here, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you guys are, are loving the way this town's turning out as much as I am. Because every day, we're improving it. It's looking better. And it's feeling so much nicer to walk through. But thank you very, very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one.